everybody and welcome. Today we are going to be talking about combining images in Photoshop or PhotoP, specifically using layer masks. Now the objectives today are to describe the components of a raster image, which should be reviewed for most of us. Hopefully we'll all be able to explain usefulness of layers and layer masks in non-destructive editing. We're going to be able to locate the layer mask button in Photoshop or PhotoP and combine images and create original graphics in Photoshop or PhotoP.com. The key terms today are going to be pixels, raster, destructive and non-destructive editing, as well as layer masks. Just a quick review here. As we can see, we have our, um, our menu bar right up here. So when we think about our menu bar, how do we find different aspects of our menu? We can find them up here at the top. We also have our options bar, which is right below that. Followed by on the right, we have our panels. This is where, again, you're gonna see your layers and all of your adjustments and things like this, as well as last but not least, our toolbar on the left. Now again, if we look at our layers panel here, we can see that we have our eyeballs that we can click to make the layer either visible or not visible. We have our lock, so once we get things in certain places, we can then lock them. And then we also have, again, down at the bottom here, our new layer. So if we want to make a new layer here, just like we did in our Build-A-Burger, we um, just simply click our new layer icon. So again, it's important to remember that images on a computer are all made up of colored squares called pixels. In computer graphics, these pixel-based images are often called raster graphics, as we have come to learn. And when you are editing images in Photoshop or PhotoP.com, you're editing the percent change in pixels. So again, Photoshop is a raster-based editing software that is dealing with pixels. Now, destructive editing. Destructive editing is when you delete pixels from your images when using Photoshop or PhotoP. So using the eraser tool to erase pixels when editing is considered destructive editing because we are eliminating and deleting pixels altogether. And then we all kind of know what the eraser tool looks like. It looks a little different in PhotoP, but in general, you'll see that cube there that kind of looks like an eraser. Imagine thinking of it like um, taking scissors to a photograph and cutting holes in it. It's very similar to that. You're actually stripping the image of parts and pieces. And then later, if you wanted to replace those pixels or put them back for some reason, you're not going to be able to because you have cut them out and deleted and thrown them away. Um, you haven't actually thrown them away. You've just deleted them. Um, so it's really important to remember what we're about to get into, which is non-destructive editing. Now, non-destructive editing is when you are using layer masks as a way to non-destructively edit a photograph. Layer masks are just like masks that you would wear on your face. Think of them as hiding parts of your face while revealing others. So think about the eye holes in the mask so you're able to see. Um, and that way we can hide certain parts and show others. So in Photoshop or PhotoP, masks hide pixels or parts of your image while allowing us to reveal and show other parts. They look very similar to this. So if we look at this layer here, in particular of these glasses, notice we have a sky layer. And then on top of that sky layer is where we have these glasses. And then what they've done is they've created a mask for the eye holes. So you can see through the glasses and into that sky layer, which gives us a pretty cool effect. And this one's done similarly, but it's a gradient instead. So we can see um, it's giving us partial see-through on the right side, and then it goes all the way to not being see-through on the left here. Now notice how we are playing with stacking these images up um, in these layers that we've been working with. And that way you can always go back, you can delete this mask here and always go back to your original image same thing with this one here. If you wanted to show more or less of this, or if you wanted to undo it, you could because you're not actually cutting holes in your image to begin with. Now, creating layer masks. 
Layer masks are you, um, sorry, layer mask use the layer mask button, which is right down here. It is always going to look like a rectangle with a hole in it. So again, I have that pulled up right here. It's a rectangle with a hole in the center. It can be found in the layer panel or the panels bar on the right hand screen at the bottom. So remember we have our um, little post-it note for our new layer. You can find that on that same section over on the left where it's gonna have that rectangle with the hole in it or the circle inside. And then essentially what you'll do is you're gonna be using the brush tool or certain selection tools to paint or select um, black colors to hide or show pixels. And something that's gonna be important to remember here is white reveals and black conceals. So when we wanna show something, we are gonna use a white brush and then we wanna conceal something, we'll use a black brush. But we're gonna get into that in just a moment.